Okay, so welcome to this lesson where we are solving the simultaneous equation using substitution method. So just as the word implies, substitution will be replacing one variable with the other. Okay, so when you look at the first one here, we want to solve these two simultaneously. And it's very easy because x has already been made the subject of the formula here. So we use the first equation, but where there is x, where there is x, we are going to put 2y. We are going to put 2y. So what do I mean? You know that the first equation is 2x minus y is equals to 6. That's the way it is. So what I mean is that now, we we'll use the second one. We'll, this is now substitution. So meaning where there is an x here, instead of an x, we'll be substituting this x for what? 2y. This is 2y here. Take note of that. So we are going to say now 2, 2y minus y is equals to 6. All right? Then here what do we get? We get now 4y minus y is equals to 6. We go on, what do we get? This will be 3y is equals to 6. So we divide both sides by 3. What do we get? y is equals to 2. Alright? Then you now, you know that we said x is equals to 2y. This one here. X is equals to 2y. That's what we said. And now y has been found as 2. So we are going to say x is equals to 2 multiplied by 2. And x is equals to 4. This is our answer. This is our answer. It's as simple as that. We come to the second one. Already we'll do the same thing here also. T is the subject of the formula. So we'll go into the second, into the first equation. I hope you are following me. This first equation is 4R minus T is equals to 5. So meaning, where there is T here, we need to put R minus 2. Because T, this is the subject of the formula here. So that is what we are supposed to do in this case. So we are going to say 4 R minus, open brackets, R minus 2, this is equals to 5. So please don't make a mistake here. You need to distribute this minus, so it will be minus R plus 2. This is equals to 5. Are we there? So this is going to give us 3 R is equals to 5 minus Two. This one, when it comes this side, it will be minus. 5 minus 2. We have 3. So, R is equals to 1. You divide both sides by... You divide both sides by... 3. And then we said T is equals to R minus 2. You remember? Now, R has been found as 1 minus 2. What do you get? This gives us negative 1. So t is equals to negative 1. All right? t is equals to negative 1. When we come to the, sec to the second one, I mean the third one. So now look at this one. This is also very simple here. This is also very, very simple. So in this case, you need yourself to make one of these variables the subject of the formula here. If you are using substitution method. So, for instance, if we get the first equation, the first equation, if we want to make x the subject of the formula, so it will be x is equals to 1 minus y. This y has come the other side. Okay? I hope that is clear. It will be 1 minus y. So, we have made x the subject of the formula. So, after we have made x the subject of the formula here now, now we'll go into the second equation. We'll go into the second equation. We'll go into the second equation. And say, where well, is an x? Where well, is an x? We are going to put 1 minus y. So, we have x 
minus y is equals to 5. Then now, here where there is an x, what are we going to put? 1 minus y minus y is equals to 5. Are we there? Then we go on and simplify this. So what do we get? We have 1, and you know what we are going to get here to be minus 2y. This is a negative and this is a negative. This is equals to 5. So we remain with negative 2y is equals to 5 minus 1. This one has to go the other side. I hope that is clear. Okay. Then what do you do? You have negative 2y is equals to 4. You divide both sides by negative 2. You divide both sides by negative 2. So y is equals to negative 2. y is equals to negative 2. And if you remember, this was our formula here, isn't it? So we're going to say now x is equals to 1 minus y. So if y is equals to negative 2, what is x? So this x will be equals to 3 because this will give us a plus here. So we can go to, we are saying y is negative 2 and the x is equals to 3. So you can try here. This will be 3 minus 2, 1. Okay, then this will be 3 plus 2, you get 5. So these are the answers that you are going to get here. All right? So let me give you the questions that you are going to solve. Okay, so you can do these questions as your exercise. Thank you.